This is the first part of the uh, board that we're using to frame the floor locker. So there'll be two frames. There'll be the external frame, which is part of the floor itself. And then there'll be an internal frame, which is part of the actual uh, locker lid that comes out. So we've just been, uh, we've just mitered this part this little bit of plank for the frame and we've had to take a little chunk out just there um, because most of these boards here have groove apart from that one there and I think the one on the end but we can't do the one on the end until we've got the final measure uh, for that piece so Martin is now we've, we've put the the mitre edge on that side and Martin is just measuring um, this end and he's just marking the uh, the level off with an engineer square uh, to make it as right angly as possible. One of the main problems with using one of these is there's such a big gap here where you can't uh, we can't see exactly where it's gonna where the blade's gonna cut so it's it's a little bit of trial and error really. So before you pass in the board in, you need to check that your blade is where you want it. But also the blade is quite thick, so you've got to be prepared to uh, just work out exactly where that's going to fall. So that's the first first piece. So, so we need to take this uh, the tongue off this end here but also up, up until that point there because uh, this doesn't have a groove but also even if it did have a groove because there's already a tongue here you've got to take this off and a little bit of that off actually so you can get this in if you were, do, if you were doing this as you were laying the floor then obviously you'd, you'd do it at the time but because, so because we weren't quite sure what we were doing in terms of framing and locker size, um, we just left a space to then think about it later, uh, which is not the best way of doing it, but it's a way of doing it. <laughs> so the lovely Jacqueline is going to take this bit off. Already taken this little bit of tongue off using chisels, and now I'm going to take that little bit off. Um, this is probably not the best way of securing this bit of wood to here but it's worked um, and so if you don't like it please don't please don't phone in please look away now <laughs> yeah please look away now if you don't approve does anything kind of chisel and it is cheap and I do use it for abusive things. There's probably better ways of doing this but it has worked so I'm sticking with it. It's worked on a couple of occasions. it there isn't it? Yeah I probably should have done it in little layers. Oh well. I don't think I need to do any more than that Martin. It's not as tidy as that bit look. <sighs> I knew right that if I filmed it that would happen. Yeah see that's solid now. Yeah? That is pretty cool. Yeah, and we're going to put a veneer in here. No, we're going to put another, just a yeah. proper piece of wood in there. Yeah, okay. Proper piece of wood. Well, that's too big for a veneer. Okay, so. so... That might take a veneer, but even then I think that's too big. Mm -hmm. And that, I could get a bus in there. Mm. So I think he's about there. So we've cut the mitre of all four pieces on one end so that we um, 
we didn't have to keep adjusting the miter on the chop saw. We've fitted them, they look okay. We need to take these tongues off these two pieces because the tongues are fitting on the inside and um, they shouldn't be. We don't so need them. We don't need them. We will um, just cut that off with a plane. And because it's hardwood, it will take about a lifetime. But it will look nice when we're done. Before we position the frames properly and force them into place and glue them, we're going to cut out the subfloor. Which hopefully will just give us a little bit more room to manoeuvre bits and pieces into place. Um, I can think they're just about fitting. They're nice and tight, which is great. Um, but I don't want to put them in and then have, try and have to sort of uh, get them out of position. So I'm going to do the hole in the floor first and uh, take it from there. That looks really good. Well done. It's a hot day. It's a job day. <laughs> okay. So we have our pantry. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we do. I think it's good. It's really cool. Mm. Silently still, you can gaze beyond the blue horizon. Everything to show that we're alive. Saved and burned and printed in my eyes. Sliding it in. And maybe it needs a bit off here and a bit off here. So putting it into the spongy end and first. Yeah. And then pushing down here yeah. where we don't have the tongue. Yeah? Okay. So we don't have tongue there. It, no, I know, but we do have some here. Okay. But what I mean is that then it may slot in. So what I'm gonna do is just because it's if we'd managed to get it in. It's not coming out in place. Just put your foot there, all your weight. the box and the lid which we won't be doing today or even tonight <laughs> so <laughs> as we go to go that's pretty cool but now we have a hole in our floor <laughs> this is one of the bits of wood for the box the box is going to go in here this still needs a bit of tidying up to do, a little bit of cleaning up on the inside of this where the subfloor is. And once we've done that, the box should fit in quite nicely. And it'll go up to the ends and it'll fit all really lovely. Like that, and it'll be like that, and that, and that's what it'll look like.
we just tidy in this little bit of sewing up. We had a shoulder plane. We just pass the shoulder plane over this, and it would be straighter. But we don't, and we need to just take some of this off to make it just a little bit straighter. Thing is, when you're cleaning it up, it's easy to take too much off. I'm tempting to as well. If you don't go right to the end, or it'll just split. So that's the shoulder and that's the cheek of the joint. So we've just got a little bit of tidying up just at the end there to do. Because I don't think it's over the line. It's just about tidying that little bit there up so that it fits. So that when that fits in, to the joint, it's not, it's not got anything obstructing it. That's not bad. I mean, it's a bit, still a little bit slopey, but it's okay. I think we can do something with that. that. We're very slowly working our way through creating the next uh, floor locker and at the minute I'm just working on the frame for the lid and I don't know if you can see very clearly but um, I've cut three sides and they're, they're looking quite snug which is good because that gives us a little bit of uh, wiggle room later when it comes to just tidying things up um, and it's, uh, it's holding its own at the minute and this will form part of the centre centrepiece uh, and with this internal frame this will sort of either lift off completely or we might hinge it not quite sure yet um, but these are the trials and tribulations of retrofitting floor lockers when really you should probably have done it when you did the floor in the first place but we weren't quite sure what we were doing and what what uh, what internal size and what the framework was going to be like so um, we skipped ahead finished the floor and now 10 months later we're uh, we're fitting floor lockers All right, so I've got one more piece to do and rookie mistake I've already cut it the wrong way I don't know why I did that, but I did. I am. Yeah, I have. This is facing out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I do have enough room. <laughs> so, yeah. What I like to do when I'm doing this sort of stuff is just do a rough pencil mark. And I don't know why I didn't do that. I think I thought it was going that way, but it's not. It's going that way. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So I normally just mark like that so I know which direction it is. So I need to recut this side so I can measure from this point here to this point here. It also helps then when you actually fit it in like this that you've got the end and you can just mark where it comes to the hole there and then you can double check that against the measurements that you've got um, and as I said they are out a little bit but that's good so I'm just going to cut this okay so the frame is good it's still tight um, it doesn't want to be that tight but it does give us room to to play with. Uh, so the next thing to do is to cut down the centerpiece and glue. Start start gluing it together. But um, it's getting late, so might not be doing that today. Familiar friends and long departed
Convinced by this, <laughs> you one's a bit, bit of a gap there. So once we've fixed it together, taken the waste off it, that will fit in. Merci beaucoup. might have found Gunter's calling. That's coming on, isn't it? What do you reckon? Get it stuck in there. <laughs> no. Nearly there then. So now we're we saying it's about. It's actually just taking stuff off a whole lot now, isn't it? On that end, yeah. yeah. And, and this, it's still, still this corner, still the same amount here to the market. You did it too. So Jacqueline's taken a little bit more of uh, this side off, just so uh, it'll slot in, and um, let's see how it goes. You ready? Yep. Oh, feels good. Feels good. It's oh, okay. it's going. It's going. It's going. It's gone. That looks pretty good. Right, so the only other thing to put on it now is the lid. Just hang on. I've put these little gaffer tape handles so once it's in place I can lift it again because otherwise um, uh, it'll, uh, it'll be difficult because we're not putting the handles on just yet until uh, it's been sanded, uh, until the whole floor has been sanded. So, as we can see this end is a little bit higher than this end. I think it's this, though, and it could just be that it's the, uh, the floor. The floor. If you look at this line here, it's it's slightly higher than this one. Um, Shot little engineer's square. You see, this is the the subfloor. There is just slightly lower than this, whereas here. You can't even see the subfloor because this is higher. Okay. So basically, we just need to take a little bit off that end. Shave some off the top. Yeah. Have you got a pencil?
our floor locker box, the sides of our floor locker box. It's been varnished, three coats, three coats now. And um, we're gonna put it in, it's ready to go in. It's not going in forever, but it's ready to go in so that we can put the lid on and sand the floor. Of course, when I varnished it, I took off all the marks um, that told me where the bow, where, where the front was and where the back was. So I'm going to have to work that out. I know. Do you know? Yeah, see that knot? That's at the front, isn't it? That, that there. Yeah. That's over here. Yeah, that's what that I thought. That's as I remember it. And I know that that's the top. Might not come out. Okay. Alright, doesn't it? That ain't going anywhere. 